our journey halfway around the world has come to an end. We finish our two-week trip down under with our second day in Sydney, Australia's largest city. Two magnificent structures dominate this skyline. That on the other side of the harbor is the Sydney Harbor Bridge. They call it the old coat hanger. On the other side of the harbor, our location this morning, one of Australia's most distinctive buildings, the Sydney Opera House. And when you see it up close, you are absolutely amazed by how enormous it is. Good morning, America. I'm Joan London. And I'm Charles Gibson. It's Friday, May 14th. Good to have you with us on our final day down under. If you were watching us yesterday, you know we were over in the oldest section yep. of Sydney. We were on the rocks, which is where the original English settlers arrived in Sydney. But today, we're in the new Sydney. And as Joan mentioned, what is really an icon of modern architecture, the Sydney Opera House. Ten vaulted shells. When you look at them from a distance, they look like sails soaring yeah. up over the water that surrounds us. The tallest one, 221 feet high. And as Joan mentioned, you've all seen pictures of this building, but when you see it in person, it's the immensity of the building it's that really takes you aback. Yeah, it is huge. It's actually higher uh, than the than Sydney the Harbor Bridge that's right over there. I didn't there. realize that. Spencer this morning is on a surfing safari. He's about four <laughs> miles from here, Spencer. Right, you are, Charlie. Four miles away, but still in Sydney at Bondi Beach. Bondi, by the way, uh, comes from an Aboriginal word, meaning the sound of the waves breaking on the beach. And we have some lovely waves breaking on this beach this morning. It's not exactly peak beach season here in Sydney right now. It's mid-autumn, going into winter pretty soon. But some uh, brave souls have uh, come out to brave the elements. Nonetheless, <laughs> we'll be talking to some surf club members in a few minutes, and we'll meet international super model L. McPherson right here on my beach. Joan? All right, Spencer. Coming up also, uh, Joel Siegel is going to take a closer look at this Sydney Opera House inside and out. And then we will meet Australia's head of state, Prime Minister Paul Keating, and he will talk about U.S.-Australian relations, whether our two countries kind of take each other for granted. And also he'll talk about the delicate balancing act they now have between Asia and the West. Right now, though, we will go back to New York for all the news and weather of the day with Morton Dean. Right, Joan, and good morning, everyone. A wind.